All right, guys. I just want to do a quick video for y'all, and you know, you guys saw my other video I already have um, about this John boat. I got it repaired, man. I got the winch eye welded back on and everything like that. But I finally got my flat stop in the mail. Okay, this is the proper um, this is the proper bow stop that you need for a flat bottom. The bow roller that rolls on here, guys, don't use that for a flat bottom. Um, especially for well built is the same way with all flat bottoms because they have a small connection point here I had mine extended out and repaired because it was causing weight and undue pressure a flat stop is actually this is the Yates e-trailer flat stop it's just rubber nice durable block you know I feel it is sturdy and what I'm gonna do what it does is you just set it against here right it goes against there on your winch and then you just pull the you know, lock it, pull it right in, and it just stops your boat. You know, and it's anti-slip, see? You know, trying to, you know, like you put the pressure on it and it won't slip. This is what you need so you can, the pressure should be here, not under here, where it causes cracks, like you say I saw in my previous video. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off my winch. See, I got it a little loose right now. I'm going to bag it off so I can get this, uh, put it in the right place. You know, get my bolt in there. And then we'll go ahead and get everything set up, and I'll come right back and show you guys how to do that. But, you know, you don't, you don't need to see me unscrewing the actual bolt right there. So stay with me. I'll be right back. So I'm just taking a rubber mallet, and I'm just hammering it into place. I can to get the bolt in there. Getting it pretty secure. Now, once I get my bolt in there, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the angle that I want it to rest at. So this one right here, it accepts a half inch bolt, half inch bolt right here. <clears throat> Let's see which side I want it to be adjusted on. I let the bolt come through this way. All right, there we go. Got my bolt right in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me bring down my gimbal just a little bit for you guys. There you go. So now, now just tighten that up. And it, my, this screw is actually pretty long. I actually think I may go with another screw. One second, let me see if it's a little bit shorter. I don't need one that big. Nah, they're the same length, so. Same length, but this is the one I'm talking about, guys. This is the one that gets tore up and everything on that eye. You don't want this one. Look at it. It's even bold. You can see that it's a bowl on there because it's the pressure is just sitting on this to where it's bending these. It shouldn't bend these because for a V-shaped hole that comes up to a V with the eye that rolls onto here, not a flat bottom. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my winch set on here. See if I can get it adjusted without needing to actually lift up the height. If I do, I have to undo the bolts here and lift up the height. But I hope I don't actually need to. And it's already, you know, it's going to fit. Okay. So I like that already. It's a good height. Looks like it's not going to be like on there. So that's good. Let me bag it up a little bit. Nice. So I don't have to adjust the height. That flat stop. Okay. There we go. Let me get this side where it needs to be. And then, so now I have that flat stop right there, guys. And it's perfect. Right in the area that I need it to be. It's not too far down. I think that's fine. I don't want it to be too high where I feel like it'll slip. But it's kind of resting on the weld right there. Let me tilt it up just a little bit so it's not resting so much on that weld. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get everything tightened down. Um, put the U-bolts on the bottom and also winch this down. Okay, I'll come back and show you guys how that ends up, how it looks. Okay. Alright, so... We got all this right now um, tightened down. You know, the jack, the post is back centered on here. The winch post is back centered. I got the distance that I wanted away from the boat. 
All right, y'all, so I got it screwed down and everything. I had to do some adjusting and moving it and everything. I actually moved the post up about about in half an inch, maybe about a you know three quarters of an inch, so that um, my box, my frame right here, um, is not relying. Yeah, so it's so right here, so it's not lying right on the weld. I didn't want it to be right on the weld. I wanted it to be right in the you know on the on the post there at a good angle. Okay, so now since I got that done, I'm gonna just go ahead and tighten everything down because I got all these posts tight and everything is secure. So. I'm going to go ahead and get that tightened down, and we'll be all set with this. All right, guys, I had to run out and get a shorter bolt. I had to go with the 3 eighths. Um, well, I mean, sorry, I had to go with the half-inch bolt, but I had to go with 5 inches over 6 inches. It was a little too long for me to be able to get it on there, and I had to grab a deep socket to be able to get it back on here the right way. So now I'm just tightening everything down. You need a 3 quarter inch wrench and socket to get it back on but you need a half inch bolt to go through this um this yates bow stop all right uh give us some torque there we go got it on i still don't like how far that's hanging out but it's much less than the other way so I'll accept it for now look at that it's looking nice let's go ahead and bolt is stabilized already before I even really tighten it down so I'm gonna get my safety chain put on I like to bring it down that way from the outside the wind strap on all right let's see if we can get a little tightening on here there we go And there we are. It's tight on the bolt. Don't seem like it'll be bouncing around. Nope, I'm moving my whole bolt. <laughs> so there we go. All right, guys. So we got it on. Got the bow stop. Remember, this is the type of bow stop that you need right here for a flat bottom. Okay. If you have this rectangle bottom right here, do not go with the bow roller. Okay. And I put that under there if you don't want to be spending uh two. It cost me two hundred dollars to get this fixed. It was originally quoted at 40, but my welder's really good. Um, he finished in two hours, charged me $85 an hour plus materials, $30. So I charged $200, man, um, for my job, right? I showed him everything. I showed him a video. Uh, thanks to a uh, shout out to uh, Trick Tens as well. If you see this video, I appreciate. It. I saw your video, which is what actually made me go check mine, and I realized I had a crack on there for some time. So. I'm not going with this bow um, roller anymore. It puts a lot of undue pressure. You can see how that's chopped up and ate up and everything, right? Lights in a way. And too much pressure right there, guys. So, hey, this is how you install the bow stop. Save yourself a lot of trouble and avoid future repairs, guys. If you got a flat bottom, use a bow stop. Do not use a bow roller unless you want to be repairing it down the road because of the excessive bouncing and cracking of your transom. It could be worse than this. It could have snapped off while I was driving down the freeway. Without further ado, thank you guys for staying tuned to another episode of Fishing is Therapy. Sometimes therapy is part of learning lessons as well. But fishing is therapy, repairs is therapy, and it's all in good faith, guys. See you guys in another episode of Fishing is Therapy. Peace.